Hi and welcome to our flying adventures. It's all about the journey. Today I decided to go fly in a Redbird full motion sim, the FMX, pictured behind me. I went to Ocean Aviation and strapped in for 1.7 hours, completed five approaches, a hold, tracking, intercepting, had a lot of fun learning about the sim and I had a very young instructor, he did a nice job, great guy and uh, we had fun, they're still learning about the sim and the equipment could not get our four flight iPads to connect to the Wi-Fi for some reason so they'll still have to work out that bug really missed that situational, aware situational awareness but uh, it was fun flying with a Garmin 530 and a 430 which I ignored the 430 uh, for the for the approaches and um, steam gauges so that was fun there was an autopilot I did do one approach with that I had to teach myself how to do that and I'm not used to that autopilot although the basic commands are the same so here's some footage the camera I thought was mounted level it was not so it looks like it's in a constant turn but if you watch the attitude indicator, you'll see I'm straight and level. So it was my first time in the sim, first time trying to do videos. Hopefully I can do a little bit better job the next time. All right, uh, thanks for watching and hope you have some laughs and enjoy the video. Cessna 172 Romeo Bravo, 10 miles from P Fair. You are cross P Fair, outer below 2000. Outer below 2000. Report P Fair inbound. You are cleared for, sorry, report landing inbound. You are cleared for the RNAV 14 approach into Ocean City. I right, would direct P Fair, cross outer above 2000. Direct, I'm sorry, clear for the GPS 14. Ocean City. Got it. Let's start down slowly. Hey, got cloudy. There's some weather. Let's butter this up over here a little bit. Mm -hmm. Still a little bit more. Going up and down, you're gonna make somebody sick, Gary. <laughs> How you doing? Alright, we're heading outbound 325, then we're gonna turn inbound. Yep. 145. I'm just gonna set it. Get a head start. Yep. Except you're not paying attention here out there. Let's get your crap together. It'll make people hurl. We're outbound, it's four miles. Turn in about 145. Land 1500, above 1500 for landing, and then we can go down to 700. 15 yep. and 17. Looks good. Inbound. Normally, I would go one notch of flaps. Yep, I would say one notch would be good. And I would normally go gear down. Yep, gear down. Gas is on both on this. Yep, they're right there. Make sure it's full rich. On, make sure. No pump on this, no prop. Alright, we're breaking out. I'm only good to 700 here. 900 for 7. Yep. I think I got the runway. I think I see lights. Is that the uh, light on the side? Yeah, looks like it. Alright, we're geared down. Let's go second notch of flaps. Hold oh, still there. 100 feet till minimum. See if we got the runway though. Got the runway. 
if I was there, I, I wouldn't still cancel with them because you never know. Yeah. Down here at the beach. Yeah, that's true. I've had it happen. It's a nice slow descent. There are 700 minimums, and I have the feel. Good. We'll continue. Ooh, my legs are shaking a little bit. <laughs> slow joke. Let's see if I don't dump it in. So, Cessna 172, Romeo Bravo, two miles from Siren. You are cleared. Cross, cross Siren. Once established on the approach, descend and maintain. Should be 2000. 2000, yeah. yeah. Cleared for the Arnav runway 2 into Ocean City. Alright, approach, uh, what am I? Two Romeo Bravo. Once established, descend and maintain 2000 clear GPS to approach Ocean City. Yeah. And then they would also probably say report BCAP inbound. And then once you get the BCAP, you say. I have, they have never asked me to report final inbound. Really? It's bizarre. They're just like. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they're like, ah, switch over. No, no traffic. They want you to cancel. That's that's it. Yeah, if there's no money yeah. to cancel. Okay, we're going out to 225. Not yet. We're going down. Let's keep it on course. 16 and then 420. Yep. Same heading. Then we go to 032. This one's got a lag, so these have less of a lag. You've got your... Laterals right there and right there. Yep. Six hundred for four twenty. Got a mile. I hope it's not dive. Five for four twenty. No runway. That's it right there. I don't see anything, so we're going to climb it. Slow and gentle. Let's make a little wind correction. Let's make a bigger wind correction. You're right, this is way behind that. Yeah. And when I flew my son down there, those were the magic, that was the magic glance for my wind correction. Boom, boom, yeah. boom. So I put you at 3,000 on that snow hill radio. It should, should. Send and maintain Cessna 172 Romeo Bravo, 1.6 miles from Govio. Send and maintain 2,000. Report. It would go inbound. You are cleared for the RNAV 32 into Ocean City. Okay, descend and maintain 2000. Report a Luco. Clear for the GPS 32 approach. Ocean City. Uh, to Romeo Bravo. Mm -hmm. Too busy looking at the crap and not flying the plane. You know, somebody, somebody, always, in. somebody always has to fly the plane. What do you think of the sim? I like it. This just lags a little bit, but other than that, it's, yeah. it's pretty much on the money. 15. All right, Salisbury, uh, one Cessna, two Romeo Bravo, reporting a Luco inbound. And we're still solid IMC. We'll cancel a few on the ground. 172 Romeo Bravo, Roger. Switch to advisory frequency. We will wait to hear from you on the ground. It's on course. 
We're looking for 260. 1200 for 260. We have the outer island. I don't think so, Tim. 760, actually. I think I can actually see the. Uh... I see the hangers. Yeah. Oh, I see the lights. Yep. But you're going to make that disappear on me, aren't you? I'm trying to. Yeah. <laughs> Let's pull the power and get on the ground before he does. <laughs> Alright, shut that auto pilot off. Michael. Auto pilot. Gear is down. Two notches of flaps. Oh, he's making the run go away. <laughs> 700 for 260. speed with flaps 40 some in this? 35. Think, uh, 35. Clean is 40 something, right? Yeah, for, about, yeah. It's hard to remember to say. For about 45, I believe. 40, 45 to 50. Set me for four. Alright. A little slow. Autopilot. I think that autopilot's trying to hold you at 2000. It's going to kill me. Autopilot. Turn it off. There yeah, it's off. What is pushing me up so high? Cleared to three three hundred. I got three miles to go. Might be my left arm break. It's gotta be the trim. I don't know is that trim. I don't know why it's forcing you up like that. I have no idea. Off the breakers pull. There we go. There's no way that trim was that far off. That is bizarre. There's no way. And like, the only thing that I can think of is that the autopilot turned the trim wheel for you and got it way off. Right, we're on glide slope. Let's put a little bit of power back in. How's that for a salvage? Not bad. I want to tell you what my left arm was feeling like there. 
you work out fighting the simulator for the day? It was a hurting unit. Let's not make such steep changes. I got two notches of flaps in. Let's go back on course. 400 for three. I am not getting in here at all. That's mm -hmm. not. I think you might. Straight out 2000 blue box. Four hundred for three. There's no way. I got, I got the runway. Got nose down a little bit. Where? That's it. Oh yeah, look at that. I can see the end lights. Oh, that's look, pretty good, huh? Right down spot. the minimums. Yeah, that was right at three. Right at it. All right, where are we resetting to now? That's five. Let's do one more. So that was my experience with the Redbird full motion sim. I managed five approaches, a hole, tracking, and intercepting, but uh, I couldn't get the sixth one in. Probably uh, a little bit too chatty between the two of us, but it was a lot of fun. I would do it again. I think the bill was right around $300 for 1.7 hours. So. It's probably a break even whether I fly the plane or not. But it was fun. It was something I wanted to experience. The last approach was very real with the failure, with the trim runaway. It was all I could do to hold that yoke in with my left arm and still try and get the make sure the autopilot was off. I even asked the instructor, you know, I'm thinking to myself, okay, your you're right seat, your first officer, pull the breaker. And he didn't even question me, he did. He was a nice guy. Young guy, but a very nice guy. And uh, I had a lot of fun. Good experience. I would do it again if I had to. Uh, but I can't wait to get the plane back. On that note, uh, 3 Tango Charlie is all buttoned up. The low, lower cowl is still sitting on the ground. We're waiting on the muffler to be returned. That'll be installed. Then I'll get a phone call. Then I'll bring her home. Stay tuned for the blog post on the annual wrap-up. Uh, go over to the blog. The link will be down below here. And you can see the three posts, or two posts for now, and it'll be the wrap-up post number three of three um, for the total sticker shock. All right. Thanks, everybody, for watching. Hope you enjoyed the uh, sim time. Sorry it was a little bit dark. We had lowered the lights so we could see a little bit better. And um, I just wanted to provide a video of what I was up to today. I hope you all enjoyed it. Subscribe, like, any comments or questions, please, please leave them down below. All right, take care. Fly safe and train hard.